Lift off. In hindsight, as one small step for man, they are telling words. There was one woman in this firing room, one woman out of 400 plus engineers. A culture dominated by men. Even years later, when Charlie Blackwell Thompson first visited Kennedy Space Center as a college senior. I thought I would love to be in this room one day. Today, she isn't just in the room, but leading it as launch director for Artemis One, a critical step in returning Americans to the moon and beyond. She really is a goddess who runs everything that goes on, the processing and the launch operations. Raised in small town South Carolina, she was taught to dream big. She raised three children as she worked her way up the NASA ranks. And on launch day, it's ultimately her call to utter those much anticipated words. You have a go to launch Artemis One. Yeah, goosebumps. <laughs> Gives me goosebumps too. For the first time, a female voice. We've changed a lot in terms of the makeup of our team. One woman on the team in 1969. Today, we'll have 30 women in the room. She calls it just the start. The next set of boot prints that are left on the moon by our astronauts will belong to a woman and a person of color. There are no boundaries, there are no limits. And launch director copies. A woman with a mission to inspire. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Kennedy Space Center. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.